Portland has the original craft brewery scene and more breweries than any other city in the world. Yeah, there's literally like 70 breweries here. Yeah. You know, there's like an entire industry built around it. There's beer bus tours, beer bike tours, beer, all the things. Let me just put this into context for you. There are more breweries in Oregon than there are prisons. Not a lot of US states can make that claim. The whole craft beer thing is going like worldwide, you know, even the biggest breweries in the world are getting in on it. Personally, I'm a little bit more interested in what makes someone want to set up a craft beer brewery. Easy, man. I like beer, therefore I'll make beer. Sick life. What drives someone to want to do it? Like, uh, it's a dope life, man. It's fun. It's sick. Get lit, get turned. I'm not talking about getting lit or getting turned. Like what distance do they have that with their dad that's like, no, I'm going to prove to Not everybody hates their dad. You know, you don't have to find some philosophical solution to you and your dad's relationship in everything we do. Just fucking relax, have a good time, make beer, get lit, get turned. Going to Portland because I'm a maker. Heading to Portland to be a creator. Creator, maker, originator, designer, founder, generator. So Dom and I have decided to set up a craft brewery right here in Portland. Yeah, our brand is called... The question mark branding represents everything that's culturally important about beer drinking. You know all the questions that come with it, like... What's this frosty going to taste like? What's going to happen next? What life-altering mistakes will I make after blowing the froth off 15 to 20 of these bad boys? If I scull a beer, will my dad be proud of me? And if not now, when? Why doesn't the drunk me take better care of the sober me? And what is all this emptiness I have inside? And what's the point of life? Why am I staring up at the stars 15 meters in front of my car with a broken windshield? I mean, the world of beer offers limitless potential, and that's what the brand is all about. Production's working really well, but nobody's been getting lit enough. We're going to need some more getting lit and a bit more turn. So here in Portland, the most important thing about your beer is that it's local. You know, people want locally made beer produced entirely with locally made ingredients. So we do everything here in the building. Literally everything is from here. So this little son of a bitch is the organic ale. Um, we collect rainwater from the rooftops and we grow our own hops um, from a compost heap that we actually fertilize with vegan human manure. Yeah, um, this one, this is our brown ale, uh, affectionately known around here as the underground lager. Uh, with this one, we take our water directly from the aquifer beneath us. Um, look, it does contain some fracking chemicals, but they get you real messed up. That's sweet. Uh, this is the Marne Bitter. This is made from the water from the broth of uh, $100 bills and also we collected the tears of Portland locals who were affected by the 2008 subprime crash. Super tasty, this one. How's the pumps? The pumps all working? Good. Buckets all seem to be in order. So yeah, craft beer is uh, it's known for having pop tops. Um, you can't just chuck a twisty on a craft beer because the harder it is to get to the frosty goodness, the better it's going to taste. Yum yum. So every bottle of comes with a unique key lock pop top. When you buy a case, you'll get given a set of 24 keys, like this. Yeah, so the kicker of that is you actually have to work out which key fits into which bottle. It's, it's kind of like a, a responsible way for us to effectively limit how much beer our customers drink. Because you know when you're plastered that you can never really find the right key to open your own front door. You know, you lack the dexterity and the, uh, the focus of vision to work it out, so. Right, so you could consider our key lock pop top system as that friend that says, okay, man, okay, you've, you've had quite enough time to go to bed. No, seriously, man, you have to get the fuck to bed. No, don't eat that. That's, you know, Jenny's leftovers. Jenny's going to be pissed in the morning. Okay, you're weeing in the fridge now. Okay, that's not cool at all. That kind of front. Still ironing out a few kinks, but... um. I think you've got it's the wrong key. Just let me fucking work it out. I'll work it out. You actually let me work it out. tried that one. That's it. The one with the round bottom. No, 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 no. You've already tried that one. That one you haven't tried. I fucking dropped the key, man. It's a good system. It's a, it's a good system. We'll just... It's got to work. Fuck. So, yeah. Go to Portland. <laughs>